Hello, and welcome to the Joy Corner. I'm Carol Duchesne. I'm an intuitive, a spiritual guide for practical matters, and I'm also a certified Marconics multidimensional energy teacher and practitioner. In these next few minutes, I hope to help you feel more connected so that your life can be more of what you want. You can find more joy, more love, more whatever it may be that will make your life truly worth living. This week, the I am affirmation that we're working on is I can tap into source energy at any time. You don't have to wait for anything to happen before you can stop what you're doing and go, this isn't working for me. I need to tap into energy, the source, my connection, whatever you're going to say. I need to maybe rejuvenate my body. I need to rejuvenate my mind and focus better. I need to make different choices. I need to get over the fear and the doubt and the worry. Whatever it is that you need to stop, go take a step back and go, I need to tap into that source energy. I need to tap into it now because something's going wrong or it's not the way I like it or something's just different than what you would want your life to look like. You can make that decision. Of course, you have to be aware that it's time to do that because stuff happens. We are not necessarily prepared for the things that life hits us with. There are life lessons that sometimes we need to learn that we're going, hmm, what was I thinking that all of a sudden this happened to me? What choices have I made that led me here? But you can choose again. And when you stop and you breathe and you step back just for a moment, you can then tap into that source energy. But you have to not get stuck in what's happening to you to in the drama and the trauma and the whatever it may be. It's usually drama. It seems like from people, from situations, you need to take that step back, to take that breath and then go, whoa. And know that you can take that moment and tap into source energy because if you can do that, you're going to change the outcome. You're going to shift your focus. You're going to allow yourself to come from a different attitude. I tell my spiritual coaching clients and I ask them in the middle when they're going through all this stuff, this is happening, this is awful, this is happening. I say, if you looked at this from a spiritual perspective, how would it look to you? And they go, oh, well, from a spiritual perspective, blah, blah, blah. Or I'll ask them, what would, is God trying to tell you about this? Oh, so there's lots of different questions you can ask yourself when you take that moment. Go, wait a minute. It's almost like you see, cut, print. No, don't print. Let's take this over. <laughs> when you're having a movie and they say cut and that little clapper comes down, you're going, hmm, yeah, let's cut this. Let's step back and go, I don't like this. Let me adjust this. What can I do instead? So you can take that moment, tap into your source energy anytime you want. You just have to remember to do it. So this I am affirmation is one tool that will allow you to tell your subconscious mind that this is something you want to be able to do. So this is, I can tap into source energy at any time. And adjust the words if this one doesn't speak to you. I can tap into God at any time. I can tap into spirit any time. But I'm going to use, I can tap into source energy at any time. Feel free to shift this. Say whatever feels more powerful for you. Again, as always, we're going to say it three times together. Take a breath, connect to source God deeply or high or however you want to do it, whatever works best for you. And then we're going to say it together. And then you're going to take a breath afterwards and feel it becoming truth for you in your body right this moment, just for a moment. You don't need to hold it for minutes at a time, but this is going to be your truth right now. Because that way your subconscious mind will go, wait, you're here? I'm here. What are you doing? And then it'll try and find a way to make this reality your reality, even though you're, no, you're really over here most of the time. So you just need to talk your subconscious, kind of talk it into shifting, kind of magically tell it, by the way, you're wrong. We're up here. So if you can suspend your disbelief and live it in that moment, three to five times at one sitting, because more than that, it's harder to suspend your disbelief. So do it and see what answers come to you that aren't during this I am affirmation time. 
people may say something and you'll go, oh, oh, that works for me. Oh, well, this is a different choice I could make. With that. How come I wouldn't have noticed that before? How come I never heard that choice? And somebody might be telling you something four or five times and they give up and then they say it slightly different way or somebody else says it and you go, ooh. And the person who said it originally goes, I told you so, but you weren't listening to me. Maybe you needed to hear it from a different source. And all of a sudden, it's your answer. It's the way the source energy has helped you find it because you took that moment and you took the step back. So let's do this three to five times. Let's breathe, connect. I can tap into source energy at any time. Feel it going through your body as your truth, knowing that you can do it. You may choose to say, I tap into source energy all the time. You can choose what feels right for you. I can tap into source energy at any time. So breathe that into your being. And lastly, I can tap into source energy at any time. And I do. <laughs> and breathe that in. Feel it percolating all the way through your cells of your body, down through your brain, down into your fingers and your toes. And know that that is your truth, even if it's only at that moment that you're saying it. Because the more you can make it your truth, the more you can push aside that, no, it's not. You're not good enough for that. You're not smart enough for that. You can't have this because of blah, blah, blah. Shove those aside just for those moments. Make this truth. Those will come up if they need to. Then you can deal with those later. Or you can say, oh, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to feel it again. You can even if you want extra credit, meaning not just extra credit, but if you it takes a little less time to have this happen. If you have an I am affirmation you really want and you're working on, if you write it down, write it down, take a breath, feel connected, write it down, say it at the same time, breathe it in while you're reading it. It's an extra layer to it. And then still do it three to five times. You can either just look at it or you can write it each time that you're doing it. I hope these I am affirmations are things that you really feel connected to or you're finding ways to make them ones that work for you. Until next week. My name, again, is Carol DeShane. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the Joy Corner. There's also Wednesdays that come out with another video, which help you connect your life with more joy in a spiritual way, but sometimes it's very practical ways, I hope as well, because that's what I'm after, specifically to have you find spiritual ways to make your life work in a more practical way, so you can find that joy and that life can be what you truly want it to be. You can also check out, if you want more of what I'm saying, not only YouTube, but also my podcast, Living Your Limitless Life, which is all over the place. You can find it on almost any YouTube channel. I'm not YouTube channel, podcast channel that you uh, usually visit, like Apple, iTunes, um, just all the different ones, Google podcasts and things. And then, of course, if you would like to know more about Marconics, that's also on my website. And also you can go straight to themarconics.com if you want to know more about this multidimensional energy to help you raise that vibration and release the fear of frequency so much faster. I mean, it happened to me. It's so much more than it's ever had happened on any other thing I've tried. Until next week, I hope you know that you are indeed that perfect, limitless person that you already need to be you are already good enough. You just need to believe it and sometimes take a few steps to let go of some of those limiting beliefs that hold us back. <laughs>